the worldwide known Greg Bro Film Incorporation together with some other studio that supplied me with the necessary stuff. The film directed by the modest guy with a strange imagination. The movie Russian Roulette or How to Fall in Love. Composer of the movie was the modest guy above. It's also based on the true story. Please listen, meet the stars. Cute smiling lady must be Australian by passport and by heart. And handsome dude of Euro-Russian Asian life standard. That was an intro, now you listen to the story. And if I do mistakes, I hope you will accept it with a smile, but anyway, I'm sorry. The story starts back in 1980s in Australia in the middle of October, when noble Farlings had already three extremely charming daughters. But fourth, amazing baby girl has finally uh, suddenly appeared. Let's gather at the square. The smallest child, child is always something special, you can hear it everywhere. Besides, she was so small those days and pretty portable. She was extremely curious and full of fun energy. She was adorable. The happy days for Dr. Les and Allison, indeed. For prin four princesses, that what else the married couple could just need? She quickly started creeping all around and chasing seagulls on the backyard ground. A world is big for little Anna, but she loves it and ready to get in. Let's see what's going on meanwhile on the far east island Sakhalin, where Tatiana was living her life. On the cold and dull island she was kind of a sun ray. The guy from her dreams called the port of their city, fishery ship's second mate Sergei. They both fell in love and found a harmony, and the little boy soon joined their company. Well, the boy was admiring father, cause they really looked like each other. Sergei gave him the name of his father, Stepan, or Stefan if you like. He was a little sparkling halion, the joy and happiness for everyone. He's got a little blondie brother, they could now play with one another. What else he had was a fictional friend to share his little secrets with. But friend denied to understand he was telling ridiculous things that little boy didn't get. But we'll leave Stefan and Eric so far and return to an Ozy land, where our girl grew a bit and learned a lot. From mama's hand how fascinating seems to be the world. She knows a lot about candy colors. She's trying herself on building sandy towers. She gears up sister to explore reality. It seems to be the joke. Or maybe she would grow up and become one hog. But suddenly we see her sitting in a prime minister chair. A number of senators waiting for her genius thoughts to share. Each of the sisters received a good and prosperous position. The dog was an owned security minister and it was the right decision. We move from eastern point of Russia to the western age. The time and when Anna and Steph entered school approximately match. He liked to see the victory parade. He was a calm and little melancholic boy, but he was great surrounded by the girls who didn't dare to dream about him. Insensibly he graduated cadet school. It's time to see the countries that he'd never seen. But first they had to gain some rowing skills. And soon he learned what pitching is and how it feels. And what about Anna? She's just finished her soup and celebrated yet another birthday in a friendly group. Look at this pretty girl, no longer baby, but the lady. It's time to explore the world, and Anna's ready. She's met a lot of people, there were so many things to learn. She knows uh, their language, and they loved her in return. She's taking care of their kids, and thinking of her own maybe, just like she was scared when she was a little baby. She thinks about the men. The man who could just make her fly. And Anna goes to Europe to have fun and maybe meet that guy. 
and she was pretty close in Holland to her aim. But no, it's just a boar, it's not the guy, Th these things are not the same. No matter what, her fate will find her in her time. We leave her in exotic tea bar for a while. Just note how beautiful she lo looks in black or white, for her propensity the boys around have to fight. We move to Belgium right now. Stefan changed again his place of living. This country met him with fantastic parties, people, culture, targets for achieving. Steph started training hard, got harder than Chinese Great Wall. Well, well, he succeeded, maybe even grew a little bit too tall. He's been all over European continent. He also checked East Asian wild content and time to time was visiting the homeland. He's feeling good among the kids of any nation, experienced a lot of electronic music inspiration, but still alone, the bench is missing someone tender. Thanks God his brothers filling empty gaps, cause hundreds of temptations want him to surrender, drink vodka early in the morning, or play the games of no returning. At last he's met the monk, who gave him good advice. He told him how to find his love. Steph paid the monk some re reasonable price. Monk added, you will find her sitting lonely on the bench. And then transformed into the ostrich. That was very strange. Before you go to find your love, you need to have some satisfying meal. The pilgrim is now ready for the trip. He doesn't know no fear, no thrill. His guides were showing him the way with their unspeakable devotion. He reached the coast. He desperately dived and swam across the ocean. Meanwhile, we return to Anna and find her doing work and planning yet another journey, either London or New York. She is still in love with every nation creature, and party heart is her another feature. She visits many interesting events, sometimes just chilling on the beach just for suntans. She likes to have a tasty meal and go somewhere to dance or play with children or of her relatives and friends. But still she looks at Horizon and waiting for the man to come. And he appeared, man of 97 kg. Approaching her with lots of expectations, presenting her the flower of temptation. What could she say? She simply smiled him in return. Well, here I am, my Anna. To love each other we were born. I knew that, sweetie. I belong to you. And you, you surely belong to me too. We'll be together everywhere. We'll do a lot together. We'll be so happy and happiness will last forever. He gave her precious scarf to prove his feelings and taught her how to fly. It was amazing, really. She opened it for him the world of tender love. I didn't see the ring, but Facebook made me love. God bless the couple, happiness and love for both of you. This is the end of movie, but the start for something new.